Today I'm going to show you how to crossfade in Audacity, which is pretty straightforward. And then afterwards I'll just quickly show you a fade in and a fade out. So to start off with, I've got two tracks, nothing exciting. On the top track, I'm just playing some random chords, deliberately trying not to play any particular song. And uh, track two is just me hitting the cup with a pen. So let me just play you what I've got. Okay, so nothing exciting there, but that's not what we're trying to show here. So, what I'm going to do is, the first thing is the crossfade, so very straightforward. Select where you want to do the crossfade, and obviously line up the tracks the way you want. Select where you want to do the crossfade on the top track. Edit, select, in all tracks. So you've now selected both. Now bear in mind, these need to work in stereo if the, cro the standard crossfade is gonna work. I'll show you how to do it the other way afterwards. So once you've selected both tracks, go to Effect and click Crossfade Tracks. You've got a choice on how much, or how aggressively you want the fade. I'll put it about there. So on the top track, you can see it's fading out. On the bottom track, it's fading in. So the top track is the guitar. So you'll see that, you'll listen to it in a second. So you'll hear the guitar fading out. guitar was fading out. Okay, so that's the crossfade. Uh, let's say I don't like the guitar. I want I want the guitar to fade in. Uh, um, let's say I want to the guitar to fade in there. So I'll select it under effect fade in. So it's going to fade in. Play a couple of times, fade out, and then play in again. And then me hitting the cup, I want that to fade out at the end. So I select that effect, under effect, fade out. So the pattern is the guitar will slowly fade in, it'll play a couple of times, it'll fade out, and then it'll play. Whereas here, the cup will play, hit the cup, it'll fade out, come back in and then fade out again. So rather than describe it, let me play it for you. Now if you've got a situation where you haven't got everything that works in stereo, what you, all you'll need to do is select the area of the track you're interested in, go to effect and do fade in and fade out on the track in exactly the same areas. You'll need to do them one at a time so they're in parallel. That gets around the constraint about both having to be in stereo.